seems like the uh, sound glitch is just here again. Uh, this is why I'm making small chunks because I tend to lose some audio in the previous uh, track. As you could probably see, I, I lost some of the audio. So I was talking about 2005 and the fact I was being, uh, I was working around technical news groups. Uh, I was also on about four uh, mailing lists at the time, uh, trying to get involved and to help around SUSE and pass around things like announcement they had. Uh, and I was I was quite a big uh, uh, novel fan in that respect. Now what I was then saying, uh, if I recall correctly, I obviously lost the audio. Uh, they had some very impressive uh, progress made on uh, on the desktop, uh, and myself being mostly a desktop user at the time for my purposes with Linux, uh, I was pretty much amazed with what they did with uh, what with I think back then it was called XGL. Now we know this as copies, and you know it's had. Well, basically now it's integrated into uh, KWIN, it's integrated into Unity and all kinds of uh, desktop. So people take the code and adapt it to whatever um, project or sub-project they wish to, to have 3D effects in. Uh, but the things they had back then, uh, and I believe they demonstrated this back in August of 2006 perhaps, was uh, they were showing the uh, what's called the SLED desktop and SLED 10 mostly. Uh, with the GNOME side of things working with Wobbly Windows and they already have the revolving or uh, cubes, kind of spinning cubes, I believe it's, it's called, that's the appropriate name. And they had all the rudimentary support for uh, amazing desktop effects which weren't quite available on a proprietary platform like uh, OS X. And remember, Vista hadn't been released until the uh, beginning of 2007. Uh, the RTM was in the end of 2006. So, so SZA was very well ahead of the competition. I, I always look back and I say, well, uh, SZA was in a position to become the next Ubuntu and the main distro. I think it was leading in terms of market share, perhaps. Or maybe very close to Ubuntu. I, I wasn't using Ubuntu so much at the time. I was just experimenting with it. Uh, and they kind of blew it when they signed the deal, which I'll explain in a moment. And why it's utterly foolish what they did. Uh, but the uh, the thing at the time, Susie was in an excellent position and I was actually a big fan. I'll, I'll explain how it came to my attention that they were going to sign a deal with Microsoft based on the recollection of what happened about uh, almost five years ago. So almost five years ago things changed for me and I was no longer a Susie user. I was no longer a person who's standing up for Novell, but actually he's trying to encourage people to be uh, boycotting Novell instead. So. I'll explain that thing.